There's a lot of people out there claiming to know the best diet based on what our ancestors ate. But how do we separate the hogwash from the history? Hey guys, Julia here for D News. There are some people who would like to make inferences on how we should live based on some ideal past. Take a recent trendy diet. The basic tenets of the paleo diet come from a few current hunter-gatherer societies, suggesting we should eat more like we did before the invention of agriculture. And we want an easy answer for how we should live, or more specifically eat, but the real story is so much more complex. So what does evidence say ancient humans ate? From looking at teeth, skull fragments, environmental conditions, and even computer models, our ancestors lived in a wide range of habitats, leading to a variety in diets. Optimal foraging theory suggests that diet is influenced by a food's value and its distribution within the habitat. For most of human history, we were hunter-gatherers, well, mostly gatherers. Before four million years ago, our ancestors ate a surprising amount of fruits and leaves, similar to how chimps eat now. Researchers found isotopic evidence in teeth enamel of a transition around 3.5 million years ago. Early hominid species started expanding their diets. They added other plants like tubers, roots, and succulents. The researchers had to add that perhaps these isotopes are from early animals they ate that ate those plants. Speaking of meat, it's not certain when meat entered early humans' diet. Whether hunted or scavenged, researchers find evidence of marks on animal bones dating back 2.6 million years. A skull found in Tanzania dating back 1.5 million years showed that meat had become crucial for brain development in early humans. It's thought that eating meat regularly triggered changes in our brains, making us the kind of smart apes we are today. Then there's teeth. You can tell a lot by the teeth. Teeth size and shape and even how our jaws fit together tell a story. We have back teeth that are low with rounded cusps that lend themselves well to eating below ground food like roots and tubers. Our crooked teeth are probably the result of cooking food. Cooking opened up a new way of getting nutrients and as we started softening our food by cooking, our jaws got smaller but our teeth haven't caught up yet, hence all the crowding and crooked teeth. Then about 12,000 years ago, we settled down in communities and started growing our own food rather than foraging or hunting for it. This is commonly called the Neolithic Revolution or Neolithic Demographic Transition. During this time, humans introduced cereals into their diet, the Neolithic founder crops, including wheat, barley, lentils, and peas. Although there's evidence of charred barley and wheat from Israel dating to around 23,000 years ago, there's also some evidence that might move back the introduction of grain into the human diet to about 100,000 years ago. Researchers from the University of Calgary found starch granules on stone tools. Evidence found in pottery shards suggests that humans added dairy products into their diets around 7,000 years ago. While these advances are more recent, our guts evolved to keep up. A genetic mutation in Central Europe just over 7,000 years ago allowed for humans to make drinking milk a thing. So what do you think? Would you switch to an ancient diet? Let us know in the comments below and keep coming back for new episodes every day of the week.